On Tuesday, Omaha will pick its next mayor, and part of what voters are deciding is how they want their city to be policed. Republican Mayor Gene Stother is seeking a third term, faces Dem Democrat R.J. Neary. 3 News Now investigator Aaron Sanderford dug into the differences in their approaches to police reform. Here's what he found. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile. Americans know more about their stories after a summer of protests and civil unrest. But what can be done to save lives closer to home? The next Zachary Bearheels or Kenneth Jones. First, a warning. To convey the importance of this issue, we are going to show you some disturbing body camera footage from the Omaha police shooting of Kenneth Jones. Jones' family says the officers didn't have to shoot. A grand jury cleared both officers of wrongdoing. We saw what happened in real time. Neary, who survived a close primary with candidates who made police reform a higher priority, adopted the approach of the candidate he narrowly defeated, Jasmine Harris. He said he would like to see Omaha police step up their training and focus on de-escalating or calming the often tense situations that officers encounter during traffic stops and visits. You know, the Kenneth Jones thing was a traffic stop to death in 67 seconds. That's not de-escalation. And it's an anti-bias training um, is important. Other people are innovating. They're not just adding more officers. Neary and Senator Terrell McKinney of North Omaha said they want to see the city fill a police auditor position that has been empty for years. They'd also like to see the Citizen Complaint Review Board Mayor Stothert created by executive order given more independence and teeth, including the power to subpoena records. They want to know that when an officer does anything wrong that they're going to be held accountable and it's not going to be swept under the rug. Stothert said Omaha already has accountable police leadership. Police Chief Todd Schmatterer. The chief is the police auditor. You have to let the chief of police do his job. He has subpoena power. He has to review these cases. And I feel like we have to maintain what his authority is. We want to give this Citizen Complaint Review Board as much authority as we can. But as far as that group of volunteer citizens being able to subpoena people um, uh, and, and make decisions on what punishment should be given out. That's the job of the chief of police. Schmatterer's outreach during his tenure has received praise from community leaders often critical of police, including Nebraska's first black state senator, Ernie Chambers. Chambers, like McKinney, who succeeded him in the legislature, has called for more public oversight. Schmatterer said he welcomes those suggestions and knows there's work to be done. We made a, a real concerted effort to improve police community relations, garner partnerships, be present, continue and nurture those relationships. And over the course of nine years, we went from having almost 250 shootings a year to 17, 18, and 19. I think we were almost under 100. He also noted a decline in officer-involved shootings. Stothert said most voters prefer her approach to public safety, including adding a fifth police precinct in Elkhorn and growing the police force. She cites progress against shootings, homicides, and other violent crimes, though she acknowledges an uptick in crime mirrored by other cities in 2020. I do not feel like the, the, my, the majority of the citizens have any issue with our police department or trust with our police department. Um, I think the relationships are very good and we strive to, to get even better. Neary praised progress by Omaha police but said he wants the city to consider how other cities approach public safety, including diverting more people from encountering police at all. As I saw a man passed out on the sidewalk, I thought perfect social services. I saw a police officer interviewing another person who was just hanging around a restaurant and, and I thought, that there is a better way to deliver that service and the police officers, there was, there was no sense of danger there. Stothert said about 300 of the city's 911 calls a month involve responses to mental health crises. That's why OPD created its mental health response unit that sends a licensed mental health professional with first responders on those calls. Stothert said she would not want mental health professionals or social workers being dispatched to 911 calls without an officer. Neary said he would. I hear a lot of people say, well, let's defund the police and then we will have a lot of, of um, um, social workers and they will uh, create programs and we won't need as many police. That's a great concept, but those programs got to be in place and they got to be proven to work before you could ever defund the police department. University of Nebraska at Omaha criminology and criminal justice professor Justin Nix 
has studied how police departments gain and hold legitimacy in the eyes of the public, and vice versa. He said there are no easy answers on public safety when people have competing ideas. So acknowledging that the idea of legitimacy is a dialogue between multiple parties. And sometimes the community has more than one idea about legitimacy. Nix, like both candidates, said one way to reduce the number of people killed interacting with police is to address how the justice system handles people facing mental health issues. He said it could reduce the thousand or so deaths nationally during interactions with police by as many as 250. But he said people needed to keep those numbers in perspective. A thousand deaths a year is a lot, but it comes at you know, as a, as a result of 63 some million interactions between officers and citizens. So uh, a, a death occurs in like 0.0002% of all police citizen interactions. So you take a step back and it's actually statistically quite rare. Nick said some departments are investing in de-escalation training spread over time and that that shows promise for reducing incidents between police and the people they serve. Police union leaders, including Sergeant Anthony Connor, have said that efforts to take funds from police and divert them to other social services could increase crime. But Connor said people shouldn't read their opposition to losing funds as resistance to change. So I think it's important that we're at the table so, so our rights aren't trampled on whenever these proposals are made. And sometimes you see a lot of those, those rights being trampled on by some of these proposals. Connor said union officers would embrace additional training but said that when budgets get tight, training is often one of the first things departments cut. A local group pressing the city to spend police funds on other services, Omaha Abolition Research, says addressing economic inequality would do more for public safety. The people who want to see change on this issue don't care whether it comes at the local level or here at Nebraska's state capitol. McKinney conveyed the urgency that he and many of his constituents feel. He said Omaha is one awful incident from sparking what Minneapolis faced after Floyd was killed. He's proposed LB 515, the Municipal Police Oversight Bill, to strengthen the committee the mayor created and give it the powers she says she doesn't want. He's also working to get an amendment passed that would give people who file a complaint against a police officer an easier way to see what came of their complaints. It hit home for me because throughout my whole life I've always had to deal with the police. Whether, whether it was them coming into my grandparents' home to raid or my home or getting pulled over for no reason at all and hits home on a lot of levels. Schmatterer said he will work with anyone. And you really need to settle on some things in the middle that don't have unintended consequences. I do think oversight of police is something that needs to spread. Um, I do think there's some space for a database for problem officers. Um, that can be known to the public. Aaron Sandiford, 3 News Now. The 3 News Now investigative team has a lot more from their interview with OPD Police Chief Todd Schmader. Make sure to visit our website to find that. You'll also see all of our stories and our 3 News Now investigative team has done. Just go to 3newsnow.com. And if you have a story idea for our investigative team, email us at investigate at 3newsnow.com.